Welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM episode number 120. Uh, and as you can see, one version 1.0 is out, but um, we're still on 1847 due to the fact that C Blocks has a minor issue that it needs to update before we can uh, move on to 1.0. So as soon as we can, we will. But until then, we'll carry on in 1847. It's not that much different um, when it really comes down to it. It's just not the official release version. Uh, the other thing to note is we've started building eggs. Um, we have one. Another one is about to pop, I think. Um, ooh, electricity seems to be under control temporarily. Um, so what else? Oh, I was asked a question in terms of our production over an hour for um, the mineral sludge. Or well, mineral catalyst, I guess, is just as good. Um, we are producing 7.5, oh, and using 7.9 thousand across the hour. Um, yeah, we're consuming faster than we're producing, which I kind of knew. We need to actually put in more capacity for that. Um, we will be doing that fairly soon. Um, maybe after biters and their um, yeah, biter breeding and um, the other thing we're trying to do which is uh, nuclear uh, underway then we'll be adding more capacity so that's where we're at with that uh, just in terms of the crystal um, 248,000 is being consumed every hour or about 4.1 to 4.2 per minute um, and there you go. I wouldn't have thought those were particularly impressive numbers at this point, but we have no modules or any later game stuff really, so it is what it is. Um, now, what we need to do is... Um, we need to turn raw meat into uh, none of that into this one, the alien processed meat, because that is used in our, this recipe that will get us biters and queen biters, um, which I'm going to assume they don't actually do anything, but they hide inside one of these things um, so that they don't attack us. Uh, so just going back one to get to from raw meat to alien processed meat we need alien goo which means we need to do something more with our uh, alien bacteria and we can use a liquefier so let's do that um a liquefier uh where do i want to put this um i kind of want to put it about there i think And you are going to do, oh, what's that one? Oh yeah, you're gonna do that one. Um, there we go. Uh, we just need a little bit more alien spores. They're produced down here. Um, they seem to have stopped for the moment. Oh no, they're just a bit slow. Uh, we may need to double this guy up. What is he? A hydro plant one. Um, I think it would be worth it to try and get a faster one there. So let's get the material for a more advanced setup. Uh, first of all, what are we missing for Hydro Plant 2? It's basically just stone. And the Hydro Plant 3 is Advanced Circuit, of course. Why would it be anything else?
Oops, I'm picking up something else that I don't really want. Clay brick. I do have some demand for that, but it's not that good. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing red circuits again if I ever wanted to build another. Well, we'll just make it to we'll just make it up to a uh, level three machine um, for now, and we'll review that later. Um, if we need to increase it further, we may well do. Um, for the immediate future, I we're still in the exploratory phase. We don't know how to build this to scale yet. That will be a future thing. But it seems quite likely we will need more of these. Uh, oh, we're still waiting for it. Endless pipes to manufacture. It's possible we already have um, some. Yes, we already do have some. Um, how do you go from this one? To alien process meat, you insert raw meat, which we have some of. Um, and what did you do that in? You did it in a normal assembly machine. Uh, let's just get one of those for now. Oh, before I forget, uh, actually you're waiting on this polluted artificial water. So it's not you that I needed to speed up. It's these guys. Uh, Is the time on this recipe minute and a half this one's actually quite a lot faster right so it's these guys we need to increase maybe I need a row of them along here um, let's just press on for the moment so you have made the raw meat. Uh, I want to get to this one. Right, uh, we now have the alien process meat. Uh, small biter, egg, alien process meat, nutrient pulp. Um, I have already got to a point where I want to use, uh, that's a RoboPort 2. Do I have the, like a RoboPort 1? I don't want to waste my RoboPort 2. Um, let me just see. The RoboPort 2 is what I need for to completely cover one of these areas for a um, uh, auto construction. So I don't want to do that. Let me run into my um, zone. My RoboPort network and see if I have an existing, there we go, um, RoboPort. No, I'm sure I had one. Um, I must have done something weird with it. Uh, 
placed it somewhere weird, shall we say. That might be a little bit more to the point. Um, I know that I had a box down somewhere. Here. Yes, there you go. So I don't actually have to waste time building another one, but I do just have to pick up the RoboPort down there and a few uh, logistic robots. I don't want to make this a significant um, robot-based build, probably anywhere really. Um, but there are some times I've built myself into a situation where Um, at least for this example, I need like this first test build. I need um, some robots to make to simplify it a little bit. Uh, now, where are those robots that I'm logistic robots? Uh, they should be here. I'll grab 50. I probably don't need 50. It's ridiculous that I'm taking 50, but that's the stack. So, of course, I'm taking 50. this 1.6 okay so the current rates that will last for a very long time now um, what I want to do is basically be able to transfer from here so where is this robo port well, not the robo port to actually yeah that's a lot smaller than it needs to be for this to work very well Unless I'm basically saying, well, it's silly not having it cover both of those things for starters. Um, huh. Do I need you? Probably not. Oh, I've got the wrong one again. Um, so, um, I basically, I either just build another one of those or I build a couple of uh, range extenders. I probably should have sorted out earlier. Advanced circuits are biting me again. Um, I'm not sure that a RoboPort 2 actually covers the area fully that I want currently. Uh, so, red circuits again. Nothing. Nothing. Seriously. Um, aren't you? Why wouldn't you be moving? Oh, you already have all the wooden boards you need. And you have all the phenolic boards. Uh, you've got ferric chloride. What are you missing? Copper. Copper plate. Oh. Copper plate. 
Yes, well, you know how we were looking at our uh, mineral sludge earlier? <laughs> That's what happens when you run out of mineral sludge. No, we haven't run out of mineral sludge. Um, where's the... Why don't we have a train? Uh... We have one here. Are they stuck for some reason? Oh. Uh, we, why can't you get in there? Oh. This needs to be longer. Okay. I have a slight problem with my rail network. Uh, okay, do I have my train? Yes, I do. That might be the fastest way to get there. Since the train is just over here. Um, I need you to get me to... Uh, can you go up there? No. To get me to there. Oops! <laughs> we do a rail on us. Yes, we do. Good. A little bit faster than running. Oh, and while we're here, um, Just a little bit of housekeeping. So yes, this is the problem here. It's actually over here and I can't put this here. So I need to move this at least one tile further up. Um, oh, now it's going. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I might do is build a redundant extra um, yeah, well, this is going to fix everything right now. But we'll, we'll build a redundant extra supply station so that I can copy that to there, that to there, and get rid of that. And now we should be fine. Um, Fine-ish. While it's doing this, I'm going to have a quick look at nuclear. This being returning us to our home. Uh, 20. So yes, we're halfway to the magic number. And yeah, as you can see, this has cleared everything out now. On our way back to civilization. <laughs> to where we're mainly are um, and it's going to be a while before our red circuits recover, so I'm going to have to try and swipe some from way down here, it looks like, where there's a reasonable build-up. Uh, and you know I've totally forgotten what I was after. I was after at least one of these. I might need more than one of those. Oh good, there's my rail that I was missing. Hopefully the mineral sludge, um, or whatever it's called now. Um, oh yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing, wasn't I? When I looked at production before. Um, we want to know the mineral sludge. 
production, uh, that would be under fluids, wouldn't it? Um, over an hour, the mineral, what's this one? Mineralized water. Okay, so the mineral, it's more in the, yeah, this is more what we're after. Uh, 19,000 a minute, 23,000 um, per minute consumption on average over the last hour. But you can see it's flatlined for a while. Um, 1.3 million being consumed in an hour. Fairly large numbers. Anyway, yes, that was the number I was after. Um, okay. Let's see if we can get these biter breeding to proceed a little bit further. Be nice to actually be able to finish something in this episode. We don't seem to have made a hell of a lot of progress just yet. I may well need two of these uh, zone extenders. Yes, it looks like I will need to. enough to yes you are okay so um, to get to a this thing um, which are made in a biter refugium uh, we need well we need the biter refugium for starters puffer refugium biter refugium okay What's that? Is that just iron? Yes, iron, okay. Um, where's the nutrient pulp going to come from? I think it's from way down here, isn't it? Okay, what are we doing? I think that's what we're doing. What's this one? Oh. Oh, no, that's the one that uses small biters. Small biter zoo. Small biter. Um, and we need to get that nutrient pulp in there. That's, that's thermal water, that's not nutrient pulp. This is nutrient pulp, it's already coming up here. So we can just hook into that supply. Nutrient pulp. Um, the small bite eggs and the alien processed meat. Okay. Alien processed meat, and we can now use request a chest. Uh, you can request the small bite eggs. Uh, not 200. Let's just make it like 10. And we've got four four robots. Here they come. Biter eggs on their way. Oh, look at that. Little biters. 
Kind of. <laughs> Patching. Maybe. Uh, so this is all based on probabilities. Just because it adds up to 100% doesn't mean you're actually guaranteed of getting anything. It's it's 95% chance small bite a five and a, a separate 5% small bite a queen chance. So you can get both, can get neither. Most likely you'll get what we got, which is a small biter. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Small biter. Um, so this is probably the ongoing process that we want to be doing so that we're producing the raw crystal splinters. Um, I'm not sure what we do with the queen. Oh, come to a halt, why is that? Because we've got three small biters. I'm guessing this recipe is also a biter refugium. Yes, it is. Okay, we need another one. Um, it's a puffer. Okay, we're missing stone. That's an awful lot of stone. might even if it's going to be this much I don't know how many more of these things I'm going to need I'm guessing I'm going to need more than just one though because we have to do something with the biter queens so maybe I will double down on the stone biter refugium we're going to be missing iron um, next so let's get some iron on our way So this is kind of fun, uh, distraction. It is, it's fun looking into these new chains. Um, it's a little bit odd trying, I know that Pyanidins is basically uh, involved with a lot of sort of life that you need to use, but it's sort of a little bit odd to me using life in this sort of way. Um, what are the ingredients we need? We need nutrient pulp. Okay, so I could probably hang it off this to share the nutrient pulp. Um, you'll be doing that one. Um, now, what I want to do is basically put the content of this into a box and pick up the content and put it in here and recycle this back into the box as well. So um, having a box seems to be quite important. Um, maybe an iron chest will suffice. Uh, do I want it that side or do I want it this side? That side gives me more flexibility. Um, what do I do if I get a bite of queen? Um, I think I want to use a filter inserter then. Uh, drop there and you're going to filter small biters um, and obviously we're going to need some more power over here um, now I need you to obviously pick up these biters um, so we need one more to be bred and I'm going to need to recycle because it's going to put the biters out here, right? Uh, 
That's silly the way it does that, but never mind. Um, so we will have a filter here that picks up from there and drops off to there. And you're going to be small biter as well. Um, oh, and you need alien processed meat as well. Okay, uh, we do have a little bit of alien processed meat. Um, Uh, maybe I will put it into a supply chest. And then I can have a, another requester chest. Being the alien processed meat, and we're certainly not going for 200. Let's go for four. Right. Now, what are we going to do if we get Biter Queens? Oh, we're out of alien processed meat now. Uh, okay. Yes, that's... That's a little bit of a disadvantage of it, the strategy we went with. Uh, what are you trying to do? You're trying to do the blazing puffer. I need you to keep growing normal gaseous puffers, I think. Um, gaseous puffer. No, that just makes gas. Um, I think I need that one to keep on going. probably can take that one off then um, where did we get to we have eight crystal splinters okay the crystal splinters um, can also be made directly it seems. But I think this is probably the best recipe for it. Um, oh, and you can cull your small biter population directly into more raw meat and a good chance of a crystal splinter. And you can do the same to biter queens if you get too many. Interesting. Um, okay, but we're doing this, and we want to know the usage. Um, I see you can potentially make a medium bite egg out of it. Or you can do this. Crystal, what do you do with crystal powder? Uh, not recipe. I want to know what the usage is. You can turn it back into crystal slurry. Ah, you can make crystal enhancer. Let's not turn it into crystal slurry then. We'll need to store this so that we can do these crystal enhancers. Um, and or you can use it as a crystal grindstone. Okay, so we definitely need to keep the crystal powder. Uh, but this, we need this so that we can create these blue crystal splinters um, in a 
one of these machines. Uh oh. Guess yes, puff up. You need to go into there. Um. recipe is that crystal splinter processing one crystal splinter processing I think that's the one I'm after um, maybe I will put that uh, into let's get a steel chest so that we can convert it to perhaps a more useful sort of chest if we need to and yes I am deliberately ensuring that I use Bob's actions to the fullest extent. Uh, what did I do with that? There it is. Um, these are the guys that we need. Uh, so that's just burning up that extra bit. We're mating, waiting on alien process meat. Uh, let's see how many different ways there are of getting raw meat. Rancid puffer is only one. We can also do it directly from a gaseous puffer. Fish. Um. Just get away from that noise a little bit. Santa Ray. Maybe I'm doing the wrong sort of fish since we only get a 50% on raw meat from Factorian fish. I don't want to do those ones. I could do gaseous puffer. That might be the easiest one. So if we had another butchery. Uh, butchery. Not that I have any room for another butchery, but um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with the puffer egg shell remains, but I'm sure there's a requirement for it. do this exactly uh, your oh ah that's interesting actually I don't actually need I didn't need the second one all I need to do is have a condition on here so I could have I could set filters with circuits and can we use the corrosive puffer in this way as well? Maybe we can. Maybe we need it for something special. I don't know. 
Uh, but maybe if gaseous puffer is greater than say 50, I can bring it in. Uh, let's see what we can do with some circuits then. Um, oh, we're going to need more of these things. Uh, why do I have beans in here? Um, let's do it over here. Gaseous puffer greater than fifty output will be gaseous puffer and a constant combinator which needs some copper. Do we have copper in the main base yet? Uh, yes, we kind of do. Getting cleaned out fairly fast. <laughs> and not getting made. Alright, yeah, I know I need more of that um, stuff as well. That might have to be one of our requirements. this power switch right yeah it's not gonna last much longer <laughs> I know this episode we've just run backwards and forwards constantly I should completely um, turn this into a stone path or a concrete path to make it a little bit uh, more efficient so I basically want the other one to be a rancid puffer, so that's why I am putting in a constant combinator. Um, you are a rancid puffer, so that we, oops, rancid puffer, yep, tick. Um, so that we can add these two signals together. And you can set filters. So see how it's picked up this signal? This will make um, make some more stuff. And we've got a blazing puffer egg in there now. Um, how did we go from blazing puffer? I think I placed them over here, didn't I? You're requesting what? Can't see, I'm gonna have to run over there. You're not requesting anything. What do you need? You need blazing puffer eggs, right? So we'll put in a request for uh, blazing puffer eggs, not 200. Let's just make it 10, which is a little bit more reasonable. And let's change this chest up here. Uh, to maybe a supply chest. There we go. Uh, oh, you're outside the range. Damn. Do I need you down there? No, I don't. I need you to cover up to there. So we should now get um, the blazing puffer egg being picked up. Which it is. Um, how many? 
We now have 28 of the blue splinters. Okay, the whole point of doing this exercise was so that we could build these. What does the next one need? Nasty stuff, but so that we could build these. Um, and we need to build those for uh where is it power armor power armor power armor three we want to be able to build power armor two to be able to build power armor two you need these first levels of speed modules researched and this guy so you need to be able to Oh, that's what you can build, but we, you need to be able to build effectivity um, circuit board. We need 50 of them. Um, so we need this one. So we need green crystal splinters and we need blue crystal splinters to be able to do that. This is so I can have better armor, so I can get around faster and have a bigger inventory, etc, etc, all that good stuff. Um, 38. I think we're going to get enough out of that fairly soon. So let's just have a look at nuclear. Uh, nuclear hasn't moved. What about when is it due? Um, we're only at 10k, so it's waiting on something. Um, mineral sludge? No, not mineral sludge. What are you waiting on? Why are you not producing better and faster? Um, it is this one. Chloric wastewater. Oh, okay, we need to, let's fix that up. It. It's over here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, maybe I should have jumped on board my train. Oh, and while we're passing by, how are we going here? That's actually quite good. That basically tells me I don't need to add any more mud to this because this is building up, this is building up, this is kind of building up. So we we'd better not add any more for now we probably can later but not just yet oh there's a train no there's no train coming we just have an issue with um, signals here let's fix signals while we're here seems to have done it so the butchery is very much like um, oh my mind's not working um very much like the smelters in that the recipe is kind of determined by uh, the product you put into it, not predetermined as a set recipe. Uh, okay, so we need some clarifiers then. Um, clarifiers, these guys. Because our, oh, these are Oh, we already have, this one already has a clarifier, which means I only need one of those, not two. And why, 
why don't I just connect these two? They're the same thing. We seem to be back in action, that's good. Now, I seem to recall that we weren't producing enough purified water here. Or that the purified water was struggling to get to the bobmonium, that seemed to have been the problem. Um, I mean, at the second we have a lot of bobmonium, it's the cretinium that we're a little bit short on. Seems to be running a little bit better right now, perhaps. Uh, are all of these guys going? You've got all the hydrochloric acid you can use. Forty-four. Um, I am concerned that this guy is going to choke. So I think I'm going to introduce a chest about here. Uh, and I'm going to move you to there. You are only going to be active if, hang on, what is this stuff? If salt, um, salt, salt is less than 10. So this won't stop now. Speaking of stopping, um, yeah, we've got a lot of stone, but there's plenty of room in here. This guy only gets to run occasionally. Um, how are we doing back up in Pufferville or Biterville? Uh, 60. So I have enough now to process. Um, have to find it again. Uh, what's that? That's shields. To process this first level of uh, modules. But um, that is going to probably have to wait uh, until next time. Um, one thing I would like to check, did I ever build fusion reactors? Thought I did. Uh, but maybe we have not. Uh, none of these are fusion reactors, are they? No, 
no. Uh, fusion reactors. That's fusion. It says we've got fusion reactor. We've already researched that, so fusion reactor should be available. Uh, the fact that we need 200 processing units could be a problem in building it, but why can't I see it? Where is fusion reactor? Maybe search then. There. Um, so where are you? You are under military. I just can't see you for some reason. There it is. Next, uh, next to the solar panels. So it's just starting here rather than this line. Okay, fair enough. Fusion reactor. Okay, so what I want to do, I guess, at the very least, I should build a fusion reactor. Um, or save up for one uh, to improve my armor from this current setup. Get rid of these things. Um, put a fusion reactor in. Probably keep the batteries, see if we can get another legs in, maybe. Uh, but I think we've probably done enough for this episode. Um, whoops. We need to figure out a way of... Uh, we need to figure out a way of doing our... Um, first level of module research it probably means that we need to expand and start uh, doing plates and things outside of this area because otherwise I need to build it all down here I think I want to go away from doing anything more here other than uh, feeding feeding the these alien science labs. I think we have to make special uh, labs for the modules. Modules lab. There you go. Uh, we can't make. We can't even make them until we have the ability to make those basic circuit boards, though. Um, so, yeah. Um, I guess next episode then is likely to be building maybe another layer on here uh, of city blocks. And then looking to flesh out some uh, plate uh, building in the city block design. Um, it looks very likely that we need to build this immediately. But, um, you, well, you know that I want my nuclear first. <laughs> and it's coming very slowly. But uh, we've done all we can. So thanks very much uh, for joining me for this. And um, we'll see if... Uh, we can move up to version 1 anytime soon. If not, we'll carry on here in 18 for a little bit longer. But um, that's it. See you later, guys. Bye-bye for now.